What's good, y'all? It's your girl Rain Dollars back with another video. This is a Dollars DIY. We're gonna do acrylic paint pour, and then we're gonna cover it with epoxy to turn this wood table to marble. Some things you'll need is sandpaper, drop cloth, primer. We would need a sealer if we weren't going to cover with epoxy. So think about that. And of course, your acrylic paint ready to pour. I'm going to link some links below so you can just go ahead and buy all this stuff if this is something that you're thinking about doing on your dresser, on your table, whatever. be sure to hit that subscribe button right now if you like this video if you believe in me like this video right now if you think it's gonna come out nice I would like to make a disclaimer that we are just swinging it. <laughs> First time. did like that exactly I know anyone who's an expert at this is probably cringing at the stuff we used but it worked for me guys so make do with what you have I'm gonna link below the video I used or kind of followed to get this pattern um, I used his same pattern for laying my paint and then I also took this technique that you're watching right now from that video. He used a bigger circle a pool sponge thing so I think that of course will affect your design but it ended up still coming out really beautiful. As you lay in the table, the paint will start to distort and literally it will just give you that marble effect you see here. Well, the reason I said the more paint the merrier is because of what you're going to see next. We have to add more paint and then use a different method called blowing. It still creates a really cool pattern, but it is different from the marble, but it blended in very well. But if you have your original paint and you have enough of it, you don't have to worry about that. As always, you must torch your painting to remove air bubbles because that creates a different effect as well. And boom, let it dry.
So I walk in this morning. I covered up with paint a little, but these spots, you see that? You see that? I wish I had took a video right before. You see that? Now you can kind of tell it is. Let me know what y'all think that is. So this is what we're using. I got it right from Lowe's. Um, $30 for epoxy. This is 32 ounces, but they have different sizes. So it's usually two parts. You equal parts mix it, and then we pour it. Let's see. Then step two is to pour side B into side A. You're gonna take the mixture that you mix for six minutes and pour it into a clean cup. And stir that for six minutes. Then it's ready to pour. I'm gonna take this epoxy and spread it with a video game case, yes. Anything flat and plastic will work though. So I challenge you guys to really DIY it, whatever you have at home, make it work. And it still came out beautiful. In this first coat, you'll see we only used one cup of the epoxy mixture. Um, so we did pour another cup. If you're doing two to three coats, per the directions, you need about four hours between each coat. And you need to torch it after every coat to remove air bubbles because you don't want bubbles in your glass, honey. And then on our second batch, we made two batches at the same time so we could just spread it all out real evenly and be done with it. Tell me what you think. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe. I appreciate the support. Thank you for watching. As always, Dollars Menu.